Hi everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be making another catnip toy. It's just a ball. And I did do this version with E-Wrap, but this one we're going to use the U-Wrap. Okay, and we're going to start that in just a moment. Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to bake, to make a loom knit catnip toy. So you're going to need your flower loom. It's a 12 peg loom. You're going to need some yarn. Now normally you would use bulky yarn. I'm using this fun four ply yarn, but it's a very heavy, thick four ply. And that's why I'm using it. You're gonna need, of course, your catnip, scrap material, and this measures seven inches by four inches. You're gonna need your darning needle. You're gonna need a teaspoon. You're gonna need um, paper and pencil if you don't have a stitch counter like me. Of course, your knitting tool, a needle, and scissors. Okay, I think I got everything. There will be a list. <laughs> okay. And we're going to start that in just a moment. Okay, so the way we're going to start this is we're going to start with a gather um, cast on. Okay, so we're going to start by winding our yarn around the start peg. Okay. Now, we are gonna just zigzag around our pegs, okay? Just like this. Just a simple zigzag, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna do a U-stitch. So that means you put, you lay your yarn, your working yarn across the front of the peg and you knit up, okay, and then you go to the next one. Now this one doesn't have any stitch on it, so we're just gonna leave that. We'll go to the next one and stitch over, and this is the U, okay? So we just laid across the next one, and to the next one that had a stitch over it, we're just gonna knit up that one, okay? And then we're gonna knit up. So laying across that one and then going to the next that actually has a stitch and we're gonna knit up. Okay. Now we're gonna do that all the way around. So that counted, we're back at our starting peg. So that counted as row one, okay. And the way, the reason we're doing this is so that we can have it gather when we're done. So we're going to do a total of 10 rows. And now, since we have a stitch on every peg, I'm just going to go around. So what I do is I put the yarn around my finger and I just go around and knit up. Go to the next one, knit up. This also keeps my tension knit up, go around, knit up. And then you watch for your starting peg because that's, and if you have one of those looms that does not have a starting peg, I would take a Sharpie and just put a dot at your starting peg, or you could use a stitch marker. And there we go, I'm back to that starting peg. So I'm gonna mark another row and we want a total of 10 rows. So I'm at two. We're just gonna keep going, okay, with the U-stitch. 10 rows. Okay, you do that and meet me back. Okay, so I've done my 10 rows. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my working yarn and I'm just going to wrap it around all the pegs. And that's just to make sure I cut enough yarn to finish off my project. So I'm going to thread my needle. And now my working yarn is coming out here. So what I'm going to do is go up and through and then I'm gonna pop that stitch off. Now, one thing you'll notice if you made my e-wrap version of this same cat toy, you'll notice that this is a much tighter weave. And that's something I like, especially if I'm using not bulky yarn. So this is a great project to use. Um, you know, you can use bulky yarn, um, but if you also have some worsted weight yarn you want to get rid of, like this is a very heavy um, worsted weight yarn. I didn't like it because it didn't, even though it said it was a four ply um, medium weight yarn, it still was, it just worked up much thicker than my other yarn. So I don't want to use it in any of my projects. So this is a great way to get rid of it. Now the other thing is, Okay, we're on our last stitch. You can make these and sell them at craft sales. People always want to buy things for the cats, right? Or their pets, anyway. So now we're going to turn this inside out. Okay, and we're going to use this to gather it. Okay, then we're going to go through a few stitches. Pull tight. Now I'm going to go th back through one stitch that I've already gone through. Oops. Sorry about that. Okay, and then the loop I make. Okay, let's make sure this is nice and tight first. See, we want to make sure that hole is closed. So the loop I make, I'm going to go through twice. And then I'm going to pull tight. Now you never cut where you're not. So now we're just going to go through a few more stitches and I'm still going in the, in the round here, right? And we're just going to go through a few more stitches and then you can cut. I'm not going to bother because it just adds bulk. And I'm going to set this aside just for a moment. Now, you remember that scrap material I told you to get? seven inches by four inches okay so i've got one here it does not have to be perfect see mine isn't perfect i'm gonna take my catnip i'm gonna take a teaspoon of catnip not quite a teaspoon even put it in the center and then i'm gonna take the material and just roll it up with most of that cat nip in the center okay then i'm going to tie a knot now that on its own can be a cat toy a catnip toy but i like to put my extra little spin so i'm just going to tuck that in and now if we did our thing right at the beginning we can gather the bottom and look it worked so you want to make sure it gathers nicely. See, I might have a loop here that's just a bit bigger. So I'm just going to do that again. Take my yarn needle. Now, if you made the other cat toy with the E-wrap, you're going to notice that this is a much tighter weave. Okay, much tighter. Um, but I never did the U-wrap until I had been loon knitting for a bit. So again, I'm making a knot. Pull tight. You never cut where you're not, so we wanna go through a few more stitches. Now this is on the right side, so we gotta make it look pretty. So yeah, this is a much tighter um, weave, and it's just so nice. Um, this is one of my favorite loom stitches, is the U-wrap. Um, you'll see that with like I've made socks and all that kind of stuff. So then I'm just going to go into the center. 
pull my yarn through and then I'm just gonna cut it and there you go guys there is another cute little ball for your kitties to play with isn't it awesome yeah and as I say, with all cat and dog toys that I make, always supervise. If they're starting to get ratty, throw them out and just make another one. Yeah. And it's a great thing to sell at craft sales. You can sell like three for a dollar or whatever. They make up so quick. Um, so yeah, have fun with it. You can change colors. You can put designs. You can, you know... Just do all kinds of things with it. So have fun. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Bye now.